the YouTube, it's your boy Trip. I knew this was gonna be my last video, a bond jug, but guess who I found? You guys recognize that voice? Whoever's in Mafia? Terrorizing, hmm? And what led to you trying to terrorize and shit? Yeah, I wonder what has gotten to that point for terrorization. I think it's the man, the myth, the legend himself, right? Yup. Yup, about Juggalo. So, what was it like when you first met Juggalo? What was he like? Dictator. Yep. And were there any incidents that led to it, or was it just kind of instant? Yeah. Only minors, mind you. And what would be considered minors in your page? Under 18? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, he was like the younger, the better. Well, and like, we're like, mind what? you. Mind you, we have one, I think he's 17 years old now, but he conducts himself like a proper adult, but he is not um, present as yeah. much as the rest of yeah. us are. I'm he, pretty pops in, a, he, pro he pops in about maybe once every three months or so. Okay. Um. Like he was, he was very adamant about it. Yeah, it was really weird. How adamant? Like he was aiming. Like, like, it, it was. It was basically where we would. He would basically like every day. We would get on just to play, and whenever, whenever we would all play together, his crew, our crew. Well, if you want to call them a crew, yeah. um. It would always get brought up. Like, why are there just a bunch of adults in here, man? Like, where's the variety? And we tried explaining to him, and me being the voice of reason for the group that's talked ourselves out of some pretty hairy situations because of miscommunications or thereof, I tried telling him, like, it might be for your crew, but it's not for us. Like, it started out what seemed harmless, like, hey, they don't have anybody to teach them right from wrong, and they might fall in with the wrong group, but the more he persisted, the more things started to just seem off, and uh, SWJ and myself saw it firsthand, because what it was, like, I would play with Jug almost more than anybody in the group. Like, Red Dead used to be my main game. I used to get on there, have fun, do whatever, like... It didn't matter, bounty hunting, whatever. But somehow it would always get brought up. We'd be having the time of our lives, laughing, joking around, mm -hmm. gently bullying each other like close friends do. But then, when all the dust settled and we got calm again, just doing whatever, he'd hit us with it every time. So like he just wanted to like keep persisting on his original belief. Yeah, that, it, it was just it was just like hammering and hammering a nail that was hitting metal, man. Like, it, it didn't matter what time of day, didn't care what mood we were in, didn't care what, what the hell we were doing. It was just, like, continuous smacks in the face, like, when are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? You need to do it. Just over and over. And how man. bad was it? How bad dude, was it, it to the point? Dude, it was to the point to where it, it was, it, it, 
it, okay, so it pissed me off to the point where I started violently shaking and getting really bad eye twitches to where I just shut the fuck up and let them do whatever. Pardon my French. So, bloodlusted, kinda. Uh, yeah, not, not, not necessarily bloodlusted or seeing red per se. It was just, you ever, you, I'm not, okay, so do you have nieces or nephews? No. Okay, well, imagine it was like that niece or nephew that just keeps bothering you at a family reunion and you can't yell at them to shut up and go sit down. Right. It was, it was ten times as bad as that. Uh, like uh, by the way I, I am Seamus 357 up in here okay surprisingly How intense was it? Was it more spicier than like a Carolina Reaper wing? And what was the reason of this? Okay. <sighs> yeah. Like, every single time that I would talk to him, he's always like, Oh, you know, oh, SWJ's a absolutely. terrible leader. Why are you still hanging out with him? He's such a, you know, terrible leader. It's like, well, he's our friend, and because... And it wasn't okay. even Dark Wolf getting pulled aside and being talked to by Juggalo. And it was, my, it was myself included, because, like I said, I'm one of the people that played with him the most out of our group. Okay. And how do I say it? If he did not respect you as a leader, was it, like, two completely different systems you guys were leading towards to? Yeah. 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 We we rule we rule off of majority, which means majority votes, majority decisions. It's a group effort instead of him ruling with an iron fist. He rules with what I says goes, no matter how like no, no matter what you think is right, no matter what you think is wrong, versus all of us. We like if I have a problem, I would bring it to the group. Same thing with yeah. Dark Wolf, same thing with Jay. Yeah. And how many members are in your group or you choose not to like say? We are we're very we're, we're very few. But okay. We hold the we hold it. We what what our group is. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. Right, and that's what life we, should be looked on. We do not need the numbers to make up greatness. Right. It's about the pe It's about the people. How how good they treat you, and how well you're respected. Respect begets respect. You get me? Yeah. And the thing is, like. I will say this first and foremost in the group I am the big brother of everybody I am going to relentlessly bully my group but if they ask me to stop I will kindly stop and I do it to make sure they have thick skin that way not a lot of stuff will mess with them in life right and whenever I would let in on something like that to jug he would just he would lose his mind he would flip his gourd man like, how he bad would just go off like, he would go off the handle, like, you shouldn't really do that, man. That's not the right thing to do. And I'm, I tell him, I'm like, I'm not, I tell this to everyone, including the people in my group. I don't care who you are. I don't care what is going on. I am not going to change who I am for you. I am going to make sure that my, the people in my group 
are going to be strong-willed and not take any BS. Because if I'm not tough on them, there's going to be somebody else out there that's 100 times worse that's going to bully them into something that I'm not even going to say on here because it's not really PG. But I make sure everybody here is okay. I... I try to take care of my people. If they have something to say or they need somebody to talk to, they can get a hold of me anytime. I've had people in my group call me at 3 a.m. when I'm sleeping. And I've stayed on the phone with them for hours and hours working them through their problem. But I don't see I have never heard of Jug doing that at all. Yeah. But there were hey, some incidents, I don't know I'm sorry, where who was speaking again? Uh, Dark Wolf was. Oh who oh, me? Yeah, no, oh Seamus. I was just saying that he just kinda used us. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've gotten from. Yeah. 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 He tried to get more notor He tried to get more notoriety through us. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the exact thing that he did when we first met him. There were a he few was times. A lot. Sorry, I just wanted to say something to get this out of my chest. Yeah, no, go for it. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. So what I've heard from members that are currently in this group is that he actually saved a few people from getting with the drug addicts. <laughs> the, the only, the, that's funny because the only person here that's in the Devil's Rejects that's ever actually been on drugs is me and I've recovered. I'm close to being a 10 year recover in recovery. Congratulations. And, and uh, thank you. And he has never ever talked to me, to me about my drug abuse. He has never saved me. He hasn't done nothing for me. Is himself. And you see, the thing, and here's the thing. At the time of meeting the great mighty juggalo and I use that term very loosely man myth the legend right <laughs> legends fade I hate to tell him but I, w I was going through some legal stuff I don't care who knows it it's out there it's public information but I was going through some legal stuff and I just got that legal stuff done never once did he ever ask me about it on a daily basis when while I was going through the court system dealing with it my members every day Ask me how how stuff went. Him, not a single thought. Not even like a no. once in a while. No, not even an afterthought. And, and there there was a point, mind you, mind you, there was a point where we held him in high regard and we treated him like one of our own. Like we right. had, we had had respect for him and of he the highest loved regard. Too. Yeah. Because you guys considered him as family at first. Yeah. Like he, like we grew on each other. But anyway, okay. So hold up a second. We're we're kind of getting off topic. We're we're we're, we're skewing away hey, from already. the original. I understand. It just let it all out. Just let it all out. Don't worry well, about okay, it. Okay, so 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 I'm gonna go ahead and revert back to one of the original questions of how he would pull individuals out of our group to quote unquote play with us or alone time or whatever the hell you want to call it. But wherever he pulled me aside, there was just a day I was playing with him and a couple other peons. I forget who it was. And we were just going around hunting, doing this, that, the other. Didn't didn't really matter. But he he came to me. and He's like, Seamus, why why exactly are you in Jay's group? And I told him, I was like, listen, I've known Jay for the better part of a year and a half. I we've had our Jay and I have had our differences in the past. He used to be in my group instead of vice versa. Some stuff went down. I learned to forgive Jay through my through my spouse. Yeah, and, and that's excellent. And, and as time went on, I started to get better with, I'll go ahead and say it, my alcoholism and all my rage and all this other stuff. I've calmed down quite a bit, and I learned to look at Jay as a brother again, finally. And Character yeah, development we, we, is we, crazy. 
we we have our back and forth on a daily basis, but we both know we both we both know that at the end of the day, if either of us has a problem, whether it's real world or we just have to talk to somebody, we can still get a hold of each other. And I explained that to him, and he's like, Juggalo, in his own words, mind you, said, Seamus, I want you to leave that group. I want you to be with me. Yeah, he said that to me too. Yeah, and so see, here's a th- and. Every single time, sorry, not to cut you off or anything, but I gotta say this before I forget. <laughs> Every single time that he would join on us, he would be like, "Love you, Shamey Poo," or some stupid stuff like that. Or what? And anytime he'd leave, he'd be like, "Love you, Seamus," and he, he was like and, and and it was not. It was yeah. not an abortion. Was it funny tone. at first or no? Like, like yeah, you could like it was a ha ha brush Maybe. it off kind of thing. Like, 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 it, like. At first, it was like, "Oh, love you too, bro," or some some stuff like that. But yeah. as it went on, it it, it 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 didn't seem platonic, mind you. It was probably more Remember- creepier than a tenth grade biology teacher. But <laughs> remember what he uh, used to do with me every time uh, that he would see me. <laughs> love you, princess. Miss yeah, you. My old game. Oh tag. my god! I heard him in that voice. <laughs> that just made me. <laughs> Oh Gross. my god, that was bad. Yeah, you see, I'm good at mi- I'm good at mimicry here. Oh my god, please don't. But no, and you see, see, the spider's still in here, right? Mhm. And oh, no. quiet. Spider was by his side ninety percent of the time. This stuff was going on. Yeah. Spider is very well. I'm not sure if he's like more uh, more talkative, but back then he was a lot more quiet because. Mm-hmm. In Jug's group, everybody had to be submissive except for Jug. It was like talking. To, it, it was like he was talking to dogs, dude. So then, how do I say? It? I know Spider's been like in through the most treatment with Jug because literally most of my videos, if you guys watched it in the past, mm-hmm. don't spoil it. Spider got chance. most of the treatment. He got most of the meat on the plate on his plate. He got most oh, of the yeah. Meat. This. And that was like, we're done. You're gonna do this, and this is gonna happen like that, right? And what happened? He got dogged on. This is literally 2016 finals. Three to one. Oh, absolutely. Loki. Out. Banned. And this reflects based on your quality over quantity statement? Exactly. Yeah, every and, time he'd bring people in, they would all be like a level 20 or something, and, and they and could get not this. shoot shots. And get this. There was a time to where he jumped on us. J- I told Jay and Dark Wolf to get out of Dodge because he's done some sketchy stuff in the past. I wasn't sure if he... I didn't know what he had in his pocket. I didn't know who he had in his corner, whether it be booters, lag switchers, whatever the case and may be. Them. Yeah. There was a point in time where I told them to get out of jo- Dodge to Session Hop, right? Okay. It, start- it started with just Jug. We- I was just wanting them to get away from him because I knew some shady stuff was about to happen. And so, I'm sitting there talking with him, all this other good, good whatever we want to call it. And then, out of nowhere, two people, four people, six, eight. It just seemed like that one area just got just spammed with his people. It was a nine. It was a nine v one, ranging from levels twenty all the way up to I think two hundred and something. And and mind you, mind you, that was all a scheme to try and jump us. I my lonely self, being probably a fresh level hundy at that time, 
and did you win? With sawed offs and shells against all of them. Yeah, they suck. It is insane. You can you can ask any member of my group. It seems like I'm cheating, it, dude. It see it seems like I am cheating with sawed offs. Just, I have the only person that I have. Perf I have the perfected the art of the eight barrels of fun. The art mm -hmm. is insane. You're making it sound like a Chinese secret. Dude, if no, you want to know what if I you want to know what the eight if you want to know what the eight barrels of fun are, two sawed offs, sh double barrel shotgun, and the almighty, just age old perfection of the elephant rifle. I love that one. <laughs> elephant I rifle. I have put I have put my my eight barrels of fun to use, and just for humiliation, they'll be running up to me with Mausers or semi-autos, Lancasters. They try to get me with rolling blocks and freaking Carcanos, dude. And mind you, I go to Emerald for this because that is my playground. You take me to Blue Water Marsh or you take me to Emerald, dog. I, can I ran around goosing on them because I... Perf with the help of Dark Wolf, I perfected the proper range for God, the elephant yeah. rifle. I can hit clips upon clips with that elephant rifle at ungodly distances. Ridiculous. And how many minutes do you think work. the montage would be? Because I plan to watch it if you do. Dude, dude, I can make an hour-long compilation of just blasting fools, dude. Dude, here's the thing. Here we are. Imagine, we're sitting in Valentine, bro. We had, like, two posses just gang up on us. Neither of them were full posses, mind you. It was maybe five and five, somewhere in there. It was at least ten. And I wow. think Dark Wolf was there. Mm -hmm. Our buddy Miles was there. Well, buddy, mind you, quote. Then Jay, myself. Okay. <sighs> Jay and I have a little tag team method. He'll come in with his Lancaster and Sawdoss. Myself, my eight barrels of fun. What it is, he'll run he'll run like a distraction while I while I do wide zigs and I'll move up on him and while they're focused on him, I just start blasting. This is Jungle's group, right? Uh, it could be any any group, but this this particular incident, we were up in the hills. No, I think it was north of Valentine, was it? It might have been so north of Valentine, like down by the near the valley. You know where it is. Oh my God. But man, we we waylaid into them, and this was like two hours, two and a half hours. We were into it, and we pushed them from Valentine to Coulter, from Coulter to San Denis, and then back to Valentine, dude. Until I was like, you know what? I've had my fun. I've had my fun. I, yep. I, I exa man, I had to go back to the post office like six times. Six times. Oh my god. And that was with four people, four V ten. So <sighs> Mm-hmm. He was just yes. chilling. Right. And Miles isn't here to make the interview, right? No. no. Um, cur cur currently, 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 so some personal stuff is going on with our buddy Miles. We'd rather not get too deep into it. Yeah, so no need. I want to stick on topic because most of the oh, stuff absolutely. you guys got off topic. Yeah, yeah. It would, but somehow it was more interesting than a presidential debate. <laughs> oh, absolutely, but, absolutely. Anyways, let's try to get back on topic. I really yeah. enjoyed the stories, though. The incident. Oh, absolutely. My bad. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Pretty sure people watching would be interested. This was a catalyst. And he wasn't fighting back either. Like, the entire time, but they just kept killing him over and over and over again. No. Yeah, How no. bad did he lose? Uh, 
And hell, now, nowadays, he even sees an inkling of our name. He hops session. He's he's he, go, he gets a fart in the wind name of us. He's gone, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. And dude, oh, like, be I'll be fighting. like, I'll I'll be the first one right now to say this. I'll call you out, dog. I'll call you out right here, right now. I might be rusty at the game. I ain't picked it up in what, uh, two, three months? More than that, but yeah. I'll take I'll take a break from my fallout. I'll hop right back on. But you know what? I'm gonna be better than ever. I always am after I take a break. <laughs> And uh, oh, and mind you, mind you. Now, now that we're on the subject of the Almighty, um, Jay, Jay shared uh, one of your YouTube videos with uh, with our buddy uh, Sicario over here, and we all listened to it over Mike earlier while we were gaming. And in one of the clips, he said he was a Leo, a law enforcement officer, correct? In my recent video, yes. 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 You see, here's the here's the thing. How old does he say he is? I'm not gonna get into that because if you guys say any private information, I can leak. I can actually get taken down. Okay. Okay. So I know he is under the proper. Okay. So here's the thing. Without naming, without saying any numbers or anything like that, I know he is under the legal age to own a quote unquote handheld firearm. And okay. you see, in order to become a Leo, and I'm pretty sure it's in all 50 states, you have to be over the age of 21. This is not outing anybody. This is not saying anyone's age for full disclaimer. But in order to get in on any law enforcement agency, you have to be over the age of 21 to handle a handheld pew pew, you know? Yeah. And. That's just not viable with his age, I should say. And he's lied several times about his. Oh, age dude, he is, it, like. Oh, and, everything under the sun. Whether like, like work, this, to, his, to start off with, yeah. the first lie that he ever told us, and I will remember this to this day. He said, "Oh yeah, I I own I own a Ferrari. I work in my I, I work in my uncle's shop or something like that, working on exotic cars." Yeah. And he said, and he says all this and that. But here's the thing: if he can afford all this stuff, why can't he afford to change the battery in his smoke detector that we heard every twenty seconds? <laughs> So you're saying, based on how much he lies, his nose will be bigger than Shaq's dick. Absolutely. Let's, let's just say this. He is, so, he is so far up his own ass, he's seen the corn from last week that he ate. <laughs> Where's my drink? No, that is stole, that is for stolen valor for the military. Seeing as how we... Nah, I'm not going to say that. So, no, full disclosure. I don't really know much about the military and police stuff. Okay, so so, so the you you can you can say that you're a security guard. You can say you're a police officer. This, that, and the other. It's not it's not necessarily a crime. It's just frowned upon. Yeah. Then then you get on the military aspect. If you claim stolen valor and you mean it, like you're in your 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 dress uniform, like not dress uniform, but um. Somebody help me out with this. Uh, BD is it? Uh, well, Hooray. if you're in your BDUs, then. Oh, is it? Okay. I could have told. Okay. That as well. So, oh yeah, impersonating an officer. That's right. Damn. Okay, so impersonating. That's it, the word. Yes. Yeah, so, yep. See, if you would say, say that, that to a law enforcement, enforcement officer or somebody that has any official title, even anybody at the DMV, mind you, the most the most lesser government agency that we deal with, pretty much on a daily basis, that is incriminating in and of itself. Saying it online, whatever. I could get on Grand Theft Auto and say, "Oh yeah, I'm a police officer," and I could be like portraying a police officer in the game that's nothing but to say yeah. it to a an official that's illegal but yeah. back on topic no he's not a law enforcement officer yes he's a big giant pile of stinking he's shit a liar. and he's a manipulative asshole that cannot he tell really the truth to save his life 
And he's really into minors, apparently. He just wants us to recruit him. And we're not, oh, we know. And, and we we're know. not talking about the kind that gets coal, either. <laughs> fun fact, no. fun fact, listen, I'm gonna try to say this. How do I say it? We caught him trying to talk into a uh, 11 year old girl. We had her in. We had her <laughs> Why in the party. Surprise me? We had her in the party, but unfortunately, her mic was muted, so we could not hear her in the previous video. Oh. <laughs> I am not going. Should I say her name or should I not? No. Uh, gamer tag. Like, a, like, like, first like gamer, gamer tag. Give her a nickname. Yeah. Like they call her Susie. They call her Little Aunt. Susie. They Aunt? call her Ant. Mafia okay. Ant. That's what. <sighs> yeah. That's crazy, so, though. Nah, it's a girl. <laughs> it is a minor. Dude, it's like he's running a freaking daycare for Christ's sake. <laughs> Literally. And then, how do I say it? Their lover lore is more insane than Marcus and North from the Detroit Become Human. Like, dude, if, if he wanted to point. sniff diapers, there's a landfill right outside of my town he could go to. <laughs> no, literally. Dude. <sighs> dude, if he was on fire, I wouldn't piss on him to put it out. <laughs> Like, I just dude, wish he would get I'll better at fighting so I'd actually have a uh, challenge. See, I'll tell you this. I have zero tolerance. I have zero tolerance for pedophilia. We have BACA in the area that I'm at. If you don't know what BACA is, it's Bikers Against Child Abuse. I support them 110%. I am from the smack dab middle of Illinois. I, I am that Midwesterner. And if I'm, I'm telling you this now. If he ever would show up in my town... I don't care if it's my hometown, town I'm living in, town I used to live in. They're all within 40 minutes of each other. He better pray he got something under that hood that can get, get away from me. Because i got a big gas tank and a lead foot. That is insane. Do I have anything to say? Honestly, just literally... Stop running and let me shoot you because you guys are terrible at fighting and I really would like a challenge <laughs> now, in my life. Should I get to the most no, juicy I'm, part? I'm being oh dude, serious. I like steak. I like steak. Give it give it to me juicy and We right. have one more person who has need to get their plate. Spider. Oh, I thought it was Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Spider, it's your turn to cook, my guy. Yeah, dog. I like it medium rare. <laughs> so, since you had the most experience with Jug, how long you've been with Jug? Or, like, known him? Two days Five long. years. And this is the longest, like, anyone's ever known him in this party as of right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What was he like to you at first? Can you elaborate on that? I would like some elaboration on that, please. We, I think, I think the video would in general. If you don't want to get too deep, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay, and there was to a point where he said that you told him to kill yourself, right? And. It was a friend of yours. So, what I'm beginning to think is, it was not you on the account at the time, it was your friend. And Juggalo still thinks you did it. To this day. So, on top of everything, we have blatant disregard for human life. Which, yeah. which telling somebody to unalive themselves, if they were to do it, mind you, they can get in trouble. Is, they, they can go to prison for damn near life, dude. Because that, that's, uh, what is that, second degree manslaughter, like involuntary manslaughter or uh, some shit? Motivation. Like that's like motivation. 
<laughs> I mean, tech. Tech. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Technically, you can because all video games and video game systems thereof are monitored by the uh, what is it? The FAA, I believe it is. No, FCC. FCC, FCC and that, what's the FCC? There you go, FCC. If you look on the back, the back, or even a, even the inside of your PlayStation, whether it be three, four, five, whatever, even Xbox, even Nintendo, for Christ's sake, they have SFCC regulations intact, and on every single game made since like 2000, to where we've had access to online video games. For Christ's sake, they had online gaming on the PS2. PS2. There are guidelines and regulations and terms and conditions. That is why, it, no matter if you're playing Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, Fallout, whatever the game may be, it says that they have a zero tolerance policy, and that's why there is a report button that has that category in it for harassment and bullying. And you guys hit the report button towards Juggalo, right? See, I haven't because I want my piece of them. I want my piece of the pie. Like, here's the I thing. Like here's the thing. People. Here's the thing. Things wouldn't be this bad and all of us being all pent up like this if he would just face the music and act like a man for once in his life instead of cowering like a little bitch in the corner. I'm not pent up. I just like shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yeah, we, know. We, we all do. We all do. Off camera. Yeah. SWJ told me um, that Gavin was kind of like Trevor on the game. Like, cracked. Amazing. Well, no, 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 it's because it, c c they're Canadian, honestly. Canadians? Mm -hmm. I don't, no, I, don't I, don't I, don't I don't discriminate. I nice, love Canadians. But... They're, they're, they're a little... They're a little pistol. I'll snipe you from Red Dead 2 to 1. <laughs> and, and you see, when, whenever Dark Wolf is like about to go unhinged on somebody, there's a little tone that we listen to that they do. Mm-hmm. And, and whenever we hear that, it doesn't matter if it's us or them, they just out for blood. La 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 la. And that's the tone. That's the tone. We hear that, we know. Stay the Fuck out of the way. We go on. Oh, yeah. We go on yonder. Yonder there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm out for everybody. It doesn't matter yeah. who it is. I'm out for everybody. But no, personally. Personally, if Jug would come to me, like a man, and say, "Let's one v one," I'll be like, "All right." And you'd accept it, hundred percent. Oh, dude, I'd stay calm the entire time. I can pose myself very well whenever I fight online, whether, no matter what game it is. Except for Call of Duty, fuck that game. <laughs> yeah, we can all agree that Call of Duty is considered to be a shit game nowadays. Oh, without a doubt, dude. Yeah. But nah, dude, if he would just... Just... Come on. I want... Let's, listen, listen. Listen, I like barbecue like anybody else. I just want him to come to the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> then how do I say it? I'm trying to think of a few more questions before I can let you guys go. I'm gonna answer, dude. Do you got any more stories you, you want to share with Juggalo to you personally, or is that it right now? <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna ask a few more questions. I think we're gonna be done. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys can you guys can say your personal stuff, and I'll ask a few questions, and I think we're done. All right. All right. Anybody else? I just work here. <laughs> don't, steal, don't steal my line, damn it. Okay, then how do I say it? What did uh, you think when you guys first saw my video on Jug? Beautiful. Oh, didn't ask, Chef's didn't ask kiss. Me. Chef's kiss. Hello. What was your favorite part about it? 
Of course it's I, I, yours. See, I have yet to watch them, but I definitely will after this experience, and you got yourself a new subscriber, because I want to get in on all this tea. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be great, you know. Oh, I, I, I hope like it's going to get... I hope it's going to be gruesome. I hope it's going to be gruesome. Voice, okay. everything. I it's hope it's going to be gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, it blends perfectly. Now, I got one thing to say... Go ahead. To Jug, because cause we, we, we all know he's going to be watching. Come on now. Most likely he's going to report. And, and you see, I'm, I'm all for flair. I'm all for the showboating and stuff. But on a serious note, I want to say, hi there, sweetheart. I know you remember me. Well, you know what? I'll say this. You're a daisy if you do. Come and get yourself some. You guys, okay, so in case if the viewers didn't catch your names, do you guys want me to say all your names again? My name is the Seamus357. I'm here 20, I'm here 25 8, baby. Alright. Okay. Then. I'm just, I'm just Dark X Wolf 17, so it's, it's a reference. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I would love to know that <laughs> off camera. And it's from Murder Drones. Sweet. And we got to go with Spider, the man, the myth, the legend himself. He's probably already known in every other video that we've done on Jug so far. So listen, this is to my personal experience, Jug. I knew the face you put on was just a mask. And I know you are probably shitting your pants right now after this video. Listen, you can watch the video, give it a dislike, leave a comment, actually. I would love for you to leave a comment. But Please. Don't report it. If you do report it, I would not recommend that. Because one, I, one, I am a very high-respected member on Red Dead, and not a lot of people would like it. And you can always get, get it appealed. And appealed. Yeah, anyway. but most likely YouTube's not gonna listen because one, YouTube hates me because I speak a lot of truth, my guy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but and he, here's the thing: I, I got I got a small request though. Sure. If you could send me a for request, and if this is a big if, mind you, if you ever have him at a party, please, please invite me. Oh, he's me got me blocked on this account, but I got a second account. You guys do. I am I not gonna say. I have five. I make a new one every day. Sweet. Yeah, pretty much. I am not gonna say it on this channel, but I will tell you guys off camera. Oh yeah. Huh. So final messages before closing it out again. Come get some pookie. Okay. Just come get some pookie. Hey Jug, we gonna be waiting for you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Spider, you wanna say anything before I close it or nah? I got, right. I got, one, I got one more thing to say. Okay, do what you gotta do. <laughs> I, I wanna shove a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. That is insane. Alright, Jug, if you're watching it, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Viewers, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We gonna wait for yeah, Jug's response, and I think that's really about it. See y'all.